SQL map automates the process of detecting and exploiting SQL injection flows in websites and it will allow you to take over the database server. It comes with a very powerful detection engine with a broad range of switches that can be from database fingerprinting, accessing the underlying file system and executing a lot of commands. If you open the web browser here and go to Google, just type PHP question mark ID equal one. This is known as the PHP ID vulnerability. It will mainly list a set of websites that use this vulnerability here. They might possibly be vulnerable and possibly not. So I'll take the first website here, which is contemporary Romanian writers. Just click on that. As you can see, it uses the ID equal one. If you want to know if the website is vulnerable, just go to the URL here and add this apostrophe after the one and just press enter. It will pop up this error message. You can just copy that without the apostrophe, of course. Just copy that link and go to your console and issue the SQL map command. You can use the hyphen H to get the list of switches that you can use, but we'll go directly into executing the command. So SQL map, you can use hyphen U for the URL. Just paste the URL here and then space hyphen hyphen DBS. This command will try to get the list of databases that lie behind this website. Just press enter and wait for the magic. As you can see here, the database available are two, Information Schema and Romanian SVC. So we're interested in this Romanian SVC here. The other command we should issue is remove this DBS, just use hyphen D and specify the database Romanian underscore SVC and then use hyphen hyphen tables. So the hyphen hyphen tables will fetch all the tables that are in the Romanian underscore SVC database. Press enter. As you can see here, this is the list of tables in this database. So we're interested in getting the content or the columns of the table named, for example, RA underscore Autori. So add that and then hyphen hyphen columns. It will display all the columns in the table RA Autori under the database Romanian SVC. And here we go. This is the schema design of this table here. It has like a couple of columns that we can dump to our local computer. So just get back the previous command and remove these columns. Use hyphen C uppercase and then you can select the column names like NUME, then NUME underscore ND, comma, POSA, PRENU, etc. And then use space hyphen hyphen dump. It's retrieving the list or the content of this table as you can see on the screen with all the relevant information in it. Pretty impressive, right? This is the table, the content of the table, as you can see here. And the dump actually is now on our PC. The dump was downloaded to our computer under this path here. So if you want to see it, just copy this link. And let's try to open a new window here. Just use leaf pad and paste. Press enter and here you go. This table doesn't contain like confidential information. It's just for tutorial reasons. And some of the websites might be vulnerable and you might be interested in targeting tables that have usernames and passwords. Some of the vulnerable websites have their passwords hashed. So SQL map can decrypt these hashes for you automatically. 
Sometimes SQL map will not be able to crack the password, so you can use other application or tools like John the Ripper to do that. Let's take another example here. Let's close this again. Open that here. And let's go to this website here. It's testphp.vonweb.com. It's an intentionally vulnerable website by Acunetix. Just You might go here, browse categories, posters, etc. You'll be able to see vulnerable URLs as well. Just copy that. Open your terminal again. SQL map hyphen u paste dbs and the same thing will apply. This is the acquired database. You can do the same as we did before. That was actually the get vulnerability type of SQL injection. If the website is using post method, you can do some kind of workaround to do the same. Just make sure to launch the application called Brib Suite that comes with Kali. Once you click on that, that's the Burp Suite. Select a temporary project then start burp and this is the application now we want to route our traffic from the browser to hit the proxy go to your preferences on just any browser and type network or proxy you go to the proxy settings and configure manual proxy in this case it's the local host listening on the port 8080 just press ok now all the traffic will go to the proxy server before it hits the internet now I'll open just open any website that can be vulnerable or uses the post method so just go to this mightly vulnerable website just put any username and any password and press login okay now just go again to the burp suite the proxy HTTP history and check in the login page just see this is the post command this is the host the agent etc and these are the parameters that they were passed we have txt username and txt password just select this all and right click and press copy to file and name this sqli.txt and save that now go to the terminal as we did before with the get vulnerability of the SQL injection and type SQL map and then minus or hyphen R the name of the file which is SQLI.txt then press enter it will do the same steps and the same techniques it did with the get since now we have the parameters that might be vulnerable it will take some time and if the website is vulnerable it will give out the name of the database and you can do the same hacking techniques we did earlier with the get method